our friends this is NJ your host on this channel in this video we will have our discussion on the significance of the south direction in Vastu signs so now friends trust me on this thing whether you talk about numerology astrology or Vastu there are certain terms in all of these mystical sciences which are world known which are very sensitive terms but they have got a very bad rap like let's say for example when we talk about numerology now I do not know whether someone is going to have a complete knowledge of numerology or not but that person must be knowing this thing that 13 is a very sensitive number Friday the 13th or you know uh, in a hospital I uh, spotted a 13th floor 13th floor in an elevator so people know about 13 number but not in a very good light same way when we talk about astrology so now whether someone has got a deep knowledge of astrology or not but a lot many of them will be knowing this thing that having a mangal dosha or mangalik dosha in kundli is not a very good thing so same way when we talk about vastu any south facing apartment south facing vastu south facing commercial property is something which is always seen with a degree and sense of distrust and fear so now what could be the logic behind that that is something which we will try to decode in this video so now friends to begin with now I do not want you guys to watch this video with this biased preconceived mindset that some direction is auspicious or some direction is inauspicious see it all comes down to individual to individual your aspirations country era culture like when we talk about the south direction so this is the direction which receives maximum heat now imagine uh, being living in a southern part of India so where the heat and you know uh, summer weather where the sun becomes so scorching hot is a very unbearable matter of concern for everyone but same sun is very much required in the colder places of the world same way friends like even if I have to give you one line attached significance of all these cardinal direction so north direction could be very important for someone who is working as a salesman someone who is any sort of uh, you know uh, like telemarketing advertising stand-up comedian field when we talk about eastern direction which can be a very important direction for someone who wants to gain from the government same way friends when we talk about anything to do with the fame so that is something which is attached with the southern direction or the south direction in the Vastu the planet which is connected with this direction is the planet Mars and the god or the devata which is connected with this direction is the Yam Lord Yama which is considered as the lord of death and the lord of discipline now friends uh, when we say about the south facing direction so like the way I was telling it to you that for certain professions this direction could be a blessing in disguise so a lot many blood banks lot many uh, offices of the politicians and offices of the dentist where on daily basis you have to deal with the uh, blood and you have to use your muscle to get the work done so a lot many profession and people working in these field they have been found that either their residences have been south facing or their place of work has been south facing and they actually excelled in their line of work now trust me friends you would not believe that when I was going through the uh, my different courses in Bhartiya Vidya Bhavan there was this one palmist because during that time I was living in a government accommodation because my father was in central government job but there was this one uh, palmist I saw him looking at another person's palm and just uh, by looking at the palm the central portion which is called as the Mangal area the plane of the Mars he actually drew that your plot must be of this shape and for the person like this palmist the person whose palm he was looking at that person was actually surprised that he actually predicted it correct the plane of Mars right on the palm of that person and same way friends like I have seen lot many people in whose case that they have a strong Mars in their chart like if you're going to have like a cancer rising or Leo rising where Mars becomes a Yogyakarta planet like even if I were to share my own experience <laughs> in my uh, chart as well I have my ascendant lord Mars my ascendant lord is placed in its own sign so Mars is becoming very strong my four planets are in the nakshatra of the Mars even from the perspective of numerology my destiny number my life path number my heart number my soul urge number my ultimate number all the numbers are nine the number of the planet Mars and the apartment where I'm living from the past three years uh, where the lease is on my name 
is south facing only. So the point which I am trying to make over here is that do not have this biased mindset. Now uh, coming to the part of why this uh, fear has been attached with this direction. So now friends it all comes down to that to begin with if Mars is not a very auspicious planet in your Kundli in your chart that is one thing. Second thing is while booking any residential commercial property we generally say this thing that when we say that the pillars of a good Vastu on which you are going to decide that this property this residential place is suited for you or not. So over there entrance plays the most most important role you do not have to reach till the uh, where the kitchen is set up toilet is where bedroom is where the first and the most important thing is the entrance and in the Vastu in the classical text of Vastu there are 32 entrances which are considered as auspicious. Now when we talk about out of these uh, 32 entrances like there are certain uh, auspicious entrances which have been labeled with the uh, northeast direction. So if you are going to select that if you remain lucky in finding a property finding an apartment which is north facing northeast facing which is considered as good. But when we talk about the south direction if you are going to end up buying something or booking something or living in some place which is in the south but falling in the vulnerable zone of that then it can actually cause a havoc and that becomes more worse if Mars in your natal chart as well is not a very auspicious planet for you. Like the way friends I have been giving you different examples even when in astrology we talk about the Mangal dosha or the Manglik dosha. So Manglik dosha will not do as much as damage in the chart of a Cancer rising or a Leo rising as much as damage it is going to do for a Gemini rising. So same way friends like the whole principle comes down to that in the classical text it has been mentioned over here that what you have to do is that you have to first divide the whole space into 8 directions you have to include the uh, cardinal directions north east south west and you have to also include the angular directions as well. Now friends just because if you are going to do this you are going to divide all the directions and the area between them is going to be close to 45 degrees. So now what you have to do is that you have to measure from the uh, the area from the south east till the south west which is going to be like um, south east to south which is going to be 45 degrees and south to southwest which is going to be again 45 degrees. So we have a total area of 90 degrees you have to divide it in total in equal 9 parts and over here friends like the area specifically like what has been explained in our classical Vastu text is that the area just on the left of the south like the south of the southeast south of the southeast is considered as a direction of the confidence but just on the right of it like which is the south of the southwest is considered as the direction of the disposal because friends in these kinds of sensitive situations the need for the correct assessment or measurement of the direction becomes all time high it becomes very important so now you have to do the measurement or mapping to the scale so like whether you can get a proper map from the builder from the architect or from a draftsman then you have to measure or map the points accordingly because let's say for example if you are a kind of person who is always on the move and you know uh, making these kind of customized choices is not a provision then you can fix up the uh, you know uh, internal of the vastu inside of your apartment by doing certain remedies but let's say for example you are going to buy a plot and you need to build a house on that then you need to do the assessment of the direction in a very precise way because you just cannot assume that you know north is going to be this direction and sun rises from east so you cannot make a calculation like that specifically when your concern is a south facing vastu and the second thing is that the plot on which you have to work is irregular because friends even when we talk about the uh, any slope towards the south that is also not considered as very good in vastu. So now friends the summary is that all what you have to do is that from the south east to the south west you have to make the 9 equal divisions of that. So one division is going to be coming close to the 10 feet. So the fourth division which is going to be close to the south of the south east will be considered as a very good spot 
for placing your door in that direction. And like the way friends, I have already mentioned this thing that there are certain remedies. But if in your chart, your uh, Mars is a strong planet in your case, your aspirations, your livelihood all surrounds around Martian fields. And for you, the driving force is to be famous and be accomplished and seen as a successful person in the society. So trust me, even the south facing direction apartment or house can prove to be very beneficial for you. So this is something friends which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs on this concept of south facing in Vastu. For further more updates and notifications on divine signs of Vastu, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. Dhaniwad.